Thank you for watching this Deer Systems tutorial. In this video, we'll take a look at the purchase list view as well as purchase bulk actions that can be performed. First, let's start by having a look at the purchase list view itself. Navigate to Purchase module and select Purchases from the search section. The purchase module has two views the general view and accounting view. On the general view, you can view order related info. The accounting view allows you to filter the list by specific accounting related statuses, including all purchases, draft bills, awaiting approval, etc. Note that columns in the list can be rearranged and resized as needed, as well as being used to change sort order with a simple press of the header. The layout of these views is configurable by selecting the gear icon to the right. Here, you can also reset the layout back to the default at any time. Additionally, you can filter the purchase order by any of the statuses available in the drop down menu. Deer also allows you to execute some actions in bulk for selected purchase tasks in the screen. Check one or more boxes next to individual purchases and select bulk actions. The bulk action window will now open. By selecting undo, you'll undo the selected purchases returning the order status back to draft. Inventory, invoice and payment information will not be deleted. Void allows voiding of all selected purchases. Inventory, invoice and payment information will be deleted and no further changes can be made to this order. Only use void when completely necessary. Print allows printing the chosen documents for all selected purchases. A combined PDF will be generated containing all the data in a single document, where each new purchase starts on a new page. You can edit the look and the details of the documents in Settings, Documents and Email Templates. Email allows you to email the chosen documents to suppliers for all selected purchases. This is applicable to both simple and advanced purchases. Individual documents will be generated for each purchase and saved as attachments. Emailing is done for every selected purchase separately with documents in PDF format. For this function to work, you need to select a document to be used as a templated email body in your Documents and Email Templates. These can be found in Settings, Document and Email Templates. Enter a subject for the template you would like to email. Email subjects can now be customised to include some fields from related tasks, including contact name, document numbers and dates. Additional info can be found in the tooltip for the email subject field in the document and email templates form. You are also able to upload a Word document that contains the body of your email. And configure email recipients, either all active users, or company contacts, or both. Optionally, if you have an active Deer Automation Module subscription, you can select a mailing list. Finally, enter any BCC address that will be receiving copies of the emails sent to suppliers or customers. Now, back to bulk actions. Using export, you can download information about the selected purchases to CSV files. When you export accounts payable, a single line per purchase will be exported to CSV including basic information about the purchase. When you export to CSV format, shipment details will be exported to a CSV list only for selected purchases. The format contains more details about the purchases than the accounts payable. Merge can be used to merge multiple purchase orders to the same supplier. Merging is not reversible and there are several restrictions on which purchase orders may be merged. This is displayed in the pop-up window. Purchase orders must only be in draft status or authorised status. Purchase orders must not have any records with payment or prepayments. Purchase orders must not have any records in stock received or in invoice lines or additional charges. The purchase order cannot be a drop shipment. Only the same supplier's purchase order can be merged. And tax inclusive exclusive settings should match on all merging purchase orders. And that concludes this video on the purchase list and bulk actions.